What's up team? It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and today we are going to talk about whether or not you can learn to code in a in an hour a day. And I was watching the video and the 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 guy he's a tech CEO or so he says, and he said, No, you can't learn to code in an hour a day. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. It just depends on how long you want to take to learn the code and your understanding of what learning to code actually means. If you if you want to build a, a company like like let's take let's take Instagram as it is right now today. If you want to build Instagram as it is right now today, and I'm not just talking about the app, I'm talking about the whole thing. That is a very complex thing and one person, it would take them a very long time to build it. So that's one aspect of it. Another aspect of it is it would take somebody who has absolutely no knowledge of of computer science and software development. And when I when I use the term computer science, I'm not talking about like this 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 complex concept, like something that you have to go off to to a four year school and comprehend. Computer science is very simple. It is just the same as humans, human science, universal science. You already have a very good understanding of computer science, but it doesn't benefit anybody who's going to make money from teaching you about computer science to give it to you straight. And I don't even know if they can. All of computer science is based on methodologies, methodologies, processes, and mathematics. That's it. So to be a hardcore computer scientist, like the kind that write operating systems and design motherboards you need to know mathematics and some people are like well i don't i don't want to i don't want to learn math and they think that that math is a prerequisite to to becoming a software engineer and is is not now if you want to become a a highly paid software engineer at a big company then yes those are skills you need to have because a big company isn't going to hire you and pay you, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to write basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript. They need people who can work with data at scale, who can work with millions of users, who can scale out systems and, and fix edge cases and optimize programs for speed. And that's where the complex stuff comes in, algorithms and algorithmic study and all this stuff. But if you want to be able to build your own application like what Facebook was when Facebook, when Mark Zuckerberg first built it in his dorm room, the PHP application he built that was Facebook. Yes, if you if you set your if you if you come up with a plan and you keep a schedule, you can get more done in an hour a day than somebody who's studying eight hours a day. Because most people don't study. They you can you can have more confidence just by studying an hour a day than somebody who studies eight hours a day. It depends on how you spend that time. If you turn off your phone and you have a plan, this is what I'm gonna learn today. This is gonna what I'm gonna learn tomorrow. This is what I'm and you map out everything that you need to learn in order to build the thing that you want to build, or everything you need to learn in order to get the job you want to learn, and you do it every day by the end of x amount of days you'll probably be there but you can't bs you have to show up every day preferably at the same time and you have to turn off all distractions and you, when you start you have to know exactly where you're going to start so when we say an hour a day of study we're not talking about you know i'm gonna i'm gonna block out you know three o'clock to four o'clock in the afternoon and i'm gonna come to my desk at three o'clock and i'm gonna organize all my shit and and at 320 i'll start because you didn't get it you didn't get a whole hour you wasted 20 minutes organizing stuff so you have to plan for the when you sit down you have to know exactly what it is you're going to do and then you just do it and you turn off all distractions anybody anybody or anything that can distract you you block them out if you need to go out into the woods to be all alone by yourself with nature then that's that's what you do that is going to be the best way to learn but you but again you can't say hey i'm going to do this hour a day from 3 to 4 p.m and you get in your car and you drive out to the forest you get in your car at three and you drive out to the forest and it takes you half an hour because you're only going to get half an hour you have to be extremely organized team and it, and I'm not saying it's easy. Some it's, we want the easy route. We that's 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 the way. But but nothing worth doing, nothing worth having is easy. And we listen to each other spew this nonsense to one another. We listen to the to the media, to the news, to all this stuff. Right? That the like just for some reason we believe that just by being born here in America that we are entitled to something. And we're not entitled to anything. You're not entitled to be rich. You're not entitled to a job. You're not entitled to respect. You're not entitled to anything. There's no reason why anybody should give you anything just because you're you. 
you you have to go out there and you have to get it and it's if it were if it was easy everybody would just do it but it's not easy it's hard when you want to become a different person when you want to transform yourself and gain a new skill set you have to put some things aside you have to make some sort of sacrifice so y you you have to ask yourself what am i going to give up and it's it's true like i have to give up at least an hour a day and it doesn't even have to be an hour it could be it could be half an hour but it has to be a focused half an hour. It can't be, you can't be working and then listening to music and looking at your phone and doing all this other garbage that people do. You have to be in the zone, team. And you can get more done in that half an hour, again, than some people get done all day. Because you're organized, you're focused, you have a mission, you have a plan. You know where you're going to start and where you're going to stop every day. And another thing you have to do is is you have to be able to adjust. So if you give yourself just an hour a day and you sit down and you're working on some complex problem, not and not even a complex problem, a complex concept, and by the end of that hour, you don't understand it, then you have to make a determination. Am I going to go for another hour and, and figure this out? Or am I gonna wrap this up for today and tomorrow I'm gonna come back to this same thing and I'm gonna study it until I understand it? What most people do is they'll go through something and they'll go, well, you know, I think I kind of understand this. They think they have an understanding and they move on to the next thing, but they don't really have an understanding. If you go to them and you say, hey, explain this to me as simply as you possibly can, they would have a very tough time doing it because they don't understand it. And so the goal is to, to have a deep understanding of the stuff that you are learning. And one way to develop that deep understanding is to make that concept that you are, that you are learning the center of your attention for whatever time frame that you are learning the concept, team. That is how you get good, and that is how you can study an hour a day. Don't listen to this crap like you got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta spend all this time. You gotta spend all this money. You gotta go to boot camps. You gotta buy all these books. You gotta do all these. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to do none of that stuff, team. Figure out what you want to build. Figure out what you want to do. Figure out who you want to be, how you want to live. Figure that stuff out. Write it all down, and then ask the question: What is the first thing that I need to do? If if I want to build websites, what's the first process in building a website? And you can just go. To Google what is the first process in building a website or you could go to Google and say what's the entire process what is a what is a website development process and once you have the process the process will tell you all the different steps and then you can say okay the first thing I need to do is write out all of the copy that's gonna be on the page do I need to learn copywriting you have to ask yourself that question do I need to learn copywriting at what cost what's the benefit of this and maybe you determine like I'm not gonna be a copywriter so I don't need to do copywriting I'll just I'll just use lorem ipsum or filler text when I build these sites I'm focused on the user interface design or the user experience or the back end logic. And now you know, team. And, and if you have any questions, you just go out to the internet and ask. You can come join the Code365 Startup Lab and ask there. You can go out to, to Reddit and you can ask there, team. Um, there's a bunch of different things you can do. But the first thing you have to do is you have to get specific about what it is you want to do. You have to come up with a plan and then you have to set aside a block of time every day. And that whole block of time has to be dedicated to learning that specific thing. If you know it's gonna take you an hour to get ready, then you need to devote an hour and a half. Or you just need to devote half an hour. But you need to understand that that needs to be the most focused, whatever amount of time you spend, it needs to be the most focused amount of time that you spend. If you're gonna to go to work for eight hours, go to work for eight hours. Turn off everything, eliminate all distractions, and just work for eight hours. Focus, hardcore work. Plan your breaks, plan everything everything planned out and you follow it to the T team that's how the military is able to train soldiers so well everything is planned out all right team that is it I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in the next one